Considering the equation 3x to the third plus 5y to the fourth equals 30, if we're asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x, implicit differentiation is required. And implicit differentiation means that any time that I take the derivative of a term that involves an x, since I'm differentiating with respect to x, the normal differentiation rules can be applied. But as soon as I take the derivative of a, a term that involves a y, when there's a factor of y included in a term, I'm going to have to apply implicit differentiation. Let's take the derivative of both sides of this uh, equation. The derivative of 3x to the third, again, because I'm taking the derivative with respect to x, I can use the power rule and nothing else. The derivative of 3x to the third is 9x squared. The derivative of 5y to the fourth will have to be done implicitly because I'm dif differentiating with respect to x. 4 times 5 is 20. I'm going to first apply the power rule. But then, because I'm not differentiating with respect to y, I have to include a factor of the derivative of y with respect to x, which I'll represent as y prime. On the other side of the equation, the derivative of 30 is 0. Now, the derivative of y with respect to x, which I'm representing as y prime, is what I'm being asked to find. So at this point, all that I have to do is solve the equation that I have for y prime, basically isolate the y prime. And that can be easily done in two steps, the first of which is to subtract 9x squared from both sides of the equation, and the second is to divide both sides by 20y to the third power. That means y prime, the derivative of y with respect to x, is equal to negative 9x squared over 20y to the third power.